So if you see me in this thing, that just means that I haven't gotten dressed for the day yet. So. Hi guys, Monique from Creative Life Life. I'm so excited because I have a Once Upon a Child haul um, as well as our schedule for this week. So sit down, sit tight. This is probably going to be a lengthy video because I want to do these two things together. And um, yeah, I talked to you much. show you very quickly okay. books that I got. Again, these are 50% off. So I showed some stuff on Instagram, but I just wanted to actually see the title. This one's If You Want to See a Whale. That was 50, 50 cents. Pink Alicious, we love these books. You have a bunch of decided to get a few more. Um, I think they started reading this last night. There's a little bookmark in there. So this was 50 cents. Um, what's this? Rex and Lily. Now these books, nope, it's actually not that bad. I thought they were more chapter books, but they're not. The pictures are vibrant in this. This is 50 cents. Um, this is Magic School Bus. I can't wait. Now this is definitely more above her grade level. Something that I'm going to be reading to her because they actually have chapters in it. So I think that we watch the Magic School Bus all the time and she can identify the characters in it. So I got that for her. That was 50 cents. The biggest apple ever. Um, Katie Fry, Private Eye. I'm not sure. This is a level two reader. So the words probably will be a little bit harder for her, of course. But um, something that we can kind of get up to. Frog and Toad. This is a level two reader. And it's a lot more words on the page. Um, we can read this together. A quarter for the tooth fairy. Um, all tutus should be pink. Okay, fifty cents. Again, they're a little bit more longer books that we can take our time to read. Ollie's Folly, fifty cents. May we sleep here tonight? So I didn't, and this is longer too. And it looks like the sentences. Well, that one doesn't seem that long, but it's a little bit longer. Okay. But all these books are 50 cents. And this one, 50 cents too. Look how bright and colorful that is. A bird and his worm. Zach's alligator. <laughs> how fun. And then I love this because the paintings on the inside are absolutely gorgeous. It's called I Dreamed I Was a Ballerina. And if you don't know, my daughter's taking dance lessons. In fact, her dance recital is this week coming and she takes ballet tap and jazz so I thought she'd love it and this was only 50 cents as well. Look on the inside. The, the paintings are absolutely, you can tell like, I don't know, like so pretty. So when we go and actually read this, I'm going to be focusing a lot on the words but also the paintings and the drawings that go with that. All those books for 50 cents. So then we also went to the toy section and we got um, this and I showed on Instagram not too long ago. This is the generic version to Jenga, but it's the exact same thing. We just actually finished playing this about an hour ago and it was fun. Um, and the reason why I um, want to get something like a Jenga for her is because I want her just to know how to sit sometimes, focus, and complete a task. Um, you don't need to be moving around all the time, so that was perfect for her. And then I actually got this off of Amazon, well, a version of this off of Amazon for uh, five to six years old. And then we went through the deck a couple times and discovered that she just started getting kind of bored with it because she knew the answers. So I gave that to a friend of mine and I picked this up. Now the age range is pretty large, seven to 12. So she's not gonna be able to know a lot of these right now. But um, okay, holding on to it because this was only two dollars and fifty cents at Once Upon a Child, where I paid I think ten bucks or so online, which again is not that expensive, but it's a whole lot cheaper than ten dollars, right? And then I picked this book too. Um, comment below if you have seen this. Um, game before. I think I saw it in passing. I read over the instructions my husband and I and I still don't know how to play it yet. It's completely op not opened. It's new. So I'm going to just go through and see if we can figure it out. Now it's for ages 10 and up. 
Um, but I'm sure that Riley, once we flance her, she may catch on. Um, and again, this is only $5.50, so I just thought we need to build up our game stuff here because summer's coming. And the last thing that's non-books or games, um, my husband saw these shoes and thought that they'd be perfect for her, and they were only $5.50, sorry, $5.50 at, um, once upon a child and they look pretty new and I can't really tell the brand of them um, but they look like they've only been worn a couple times like there's some stuff on the back but still it looks like they're pretty new and I thought she can wear them in the summer as well as into the fall so now we're gonna go switching gears and we're gonna go look at what our week looks like so far okay so um, I have already made changes. I actually was um, a little bit more disciplined and I did my scheduling last, it's Monday, so I did my scheduling last week, last week, Thursday or Friday. Um, um, now, again, this is absolutely new and I've already written on some stuff, some notes and changed some things around, so sorry about that. Um, okay, so again, we do a four day a week schedule for homeschooling and I'm sorry that it's not clear. Um, but we do a four day a week for homeschooling. And um, so we go through our devotions and to we for this week, we're gonna focus on Psalms chapter one, chapter one. So we actually prayed and we read Psalms one, um, verse one. And then we're gonna go through and read Psalms one, verse two through four this week. And then we um, went ahead and I'm gonna try to show you it. Hopefully it'll show up on the screen. Oh, we do copywriting every day. So today, um, this is my writing. So this is this part is my writing. And then she just copies it on the other side. So yesterday was Sunday. I went to church yesterday. Yesterday I wore, and the reason why I keep writing yesterday is because I want her to get used to writing yesterday and also knowing how to spell it and just get used to using the word yesterday in past tense and what that means. So she got it because now she can just write yesterday without looking at it. So that's mine. And this is her, this is an example of what she writes like. So she did that. And then she finished the sentence yesterday. She wore a black dress and black and red and a black and red jacket. Okay. And I want to make sure she knows if she's using her punctuation correctly and that she's writing and forming the letters correctly. So that's example of our copywriting. So the rest of the week we do copywriting every single day before we actually start. For Mondays, typically we just do uh, language arts worksheets. So we did two of them to She read the passage and what you see um, highlighted in green are the words that she stumbled on. Now when I looked at this, it, um, I think this is a first into second grade. Thing, cause I, when I looked it up, it was not under kindergarten, it was under first grade, I think. So I expected her to stumble on a few of the words. So we read it actually only through twice. So the first time I highlighted the words that she stumbled on. The second time we focused on those words as we read the story again. And then we went through and she cut out um, these five cubes, these five pieces of paper, and then she put the story in order. So it's just about reading and comprehension and also she's getting the cutting and pasting thing, which all kids love to do anyway. So I liked that. And then this right here is would you rather. So for these, it's another opinion piece, but I have her actually read the sentences, choose what she wants to eat here and then write the sentence. And um, I would rather eat pizza because there are cheat, there is cheese on the pizza and I love cheese. So I went through and corrected the spellings, the spelling mistakes that she did make, but overall I was pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. So we went on and we did our morning work. So if you don't follow me, um, I do morning work after language arts. The reason being is because I want all her energy and focus to be on reading and um, language arts so she doesn't get tired. And then we go ahead and do a little bit more funner, flexible thing and morning work. So today we did morning work. We did, um, we went through our calendar and 
right here, as you see, we've kind of marked some days off. So we marked off Father's Day. We marked off Father's Day, and we marked you off. You marked off. What do you What do you need? To, we marked off the first day of summer. So, um, for our morning work, we're going to be transitioning our words from spring over to summer, and what summer means. And you'll see that a little bit in our art pro in our art project, but. Anyways, as we did, so we always do what is the day today. Today is Monday, June 5th, 2017. We recite our address, our phone number, where we are living, the president, who is that, where does he live, and I stopped there today. Sometimes I go further and talk about East Coast or West Coast, and I point out different states and all that stuff, and um, the reason why we're not focusing on geography this year, because I didn't feel that um, was the absolute... Um, for us, the absolute need for us to focus on that. However, in uh, first grade, I probably will introduce a lot more geography. After that was finished, we did our math facts. Again, I showed, I just showed this, and I can't find it. I just showed this on, oh, I just showed this on um, Instagram, and I showed it twice because I absolutely adore this. This was absolutely free, and I think I just did a vlog that showed this as well. We're back here to our spaceships and our 10 facts. And um, the reason why I love it, because first of all, they're just super cute, but um, it's helping her um, use the number line, but also she's using her head. So she's doing a lot of mental math. So for a lot of these easier facts, she's just doing mental math. Um, you know, these are super easy for her. So she's just going right ahead and just doing mental math and matching it up to the spaceship. However, when you get into these kind of facts, um, she's having to either use the number line, well, she's, or um, takes a little bit longer to do it in her head, which is totally fine. But I absolutely love, love to use these. Okay, so that is exciting. That's all we did for math today, just with um, our 10 facts. And then at the very end, we just did a small art project and I gave her some magazines, some old magazines that I had, and I just asked her to do a collage and then I explained what a collage actually was. So we talked about that word and what that means. And then I just asked her to do a collage since summer is coming and hopefully we're gonna start experiencing some warmer weather. Um, I asked her just to take some pictures out of the magazine and what you think, what reminds you of summer and what you think summer is and she took a bunch of plants a lot of greenery there's some vegetables and there's a sun that she cut out on this side um and i thought that was super cute so i would put that on the wall so that is what we did today um for the rest of the week um because this video was about to be like 20 minutes. almost the same format um, except for language arts we don't always do worksheets we go ahead and we do teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons and right now we are going to be focusing on lesson 87 and 89 and then for the last week we're going to do a special focus again on homophones okay and then um, for math, we're gonna do some work out of our math workbook. We're going to do some place value and money review. Um, and for uh, art, we're going to do another summer activity on Wednesday, not tomorrow, but on Wednesday, we're going to do um, the acronym of summer, S-U-M-M-E-R. And then I have some words that go beside each letter and then she's going to draw a picture to represent the words. So that's kind of what my focus is for this week. Okay, so that is it. Um, again, if you don't watch me, I typically don't film on my laptop. Um, all I have to film is on a camera, an Android, and it's acting up, okay? So right now it's charging, um, so I'm filming on my laptop. So the quality, like I said, is not always this bad. But um, hey, it is what it is. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, bye, guys.